If you like reading very old books, or watching movies based on very old books, you might just run into a nifty little phrase written in a language called Latin. Nosce te ipsum. Other than being really fun to try and pronounce, it's also a pretty wise saying that translates as, Know thyself. The best expert on you is, unsurprisingly, you. You know what you like to eat, what kind of movie and TV shows you like, and what ice cream flavor tastes best when it's really hot outside. You also know where you work best, the kind of place you go when you really need to get something done. Some people need a place that is totally quiet and with no distractions. Some people need a window where they can see some blue skies and life moving past. And Bruce Wayne needs a cave filled with bats. One of the most important things you can do on your first day in a virtual school is know yourself well enough to know how to set up your personal study space. This is probably something students in a traditional brick and mortar would love to have a fairy godmother show up and grant them the magical ability to do. If you could decide what your classroom looked like, what was in it, what would it look like? As luck would have it, you don't need magic or fairies at all. In a virtual school, your classroom is what you want it to be. The first question you have to ask yourself is, what do I need to be successful? You may love hooking up the game console and playing with your friends, but you should know yourself well enough to know that the presence of that game console in your study space probably isn't going to be a good thing. In fact, you should try and avoid placing any of your weapons of mass distraction in your study space. Easily distracted by friends texting constantly about how bored they are in class? That's a WMD, so consider leaving the phone in another room. Love that 60-hour box set of Lord of the Rings films? You found another WMD, so maybe the television shouldn't be within viewing distance. Of course, one person's weapon of mass distraction is another study aid, and only you know the truth. Maybe music is a serious distraction for some, but if it truly helps you focus, then it's not a WMD, and it has a place in your study space. The key to a good study space is making it a place where you can work in comfort. Notice I said work, not nap. It should be a place where you won't be interrupted, where you can hear your teachers clearly during live class sessions, and where they can hear you without also hearing the dog, the neighbors, and the guy down the street mowing his lawn. You're going to need some way to organize the things you usually need for school. Paper, pens, books you might need, a folder or two to keep any hard copies that are necessary. Keep in mind, this is your study space, but it's also a place to work, not to play. The most important thing to remember, this is your space. It's the little details that matter, and often the inconsequential things that make a place feel right. Maybe you'll want a picture of you and your friends as your computer's wallpaper. Maybe you'll have an old toy sitting on a shelf, or a favorite saying tacked up to the wall, or a framed poster of the Avengers. Everyone has some little knickknacks that mean something to them, and you should place a few in your study space. As silly as it might sound, consider naming your study space just to give it some purpose in your mind. If Batman can call a dank hole in the ground the Batcave, then you can definitely name your study space anything you want. So now you've got a comfortable space that you like, filled with things you need in order to work, and the things that make you feel at home, and without any of the weapons of mass distraction that are a virtual student's worst enemy, you found or created that perfect space for you to be the most effective student you can possibly be. What else can there be to add to your study space? Just one more thing. You should find a place to display your daily schedule in a way that fits the mood and setting of your space. An erasable whiteboard, note card, thumbtack to the wall, a copy of your calendar printed off the computer and folded up into a paper swan with the day's schedule on the left wing. As with so many things with your study space, it's up to you. Having your daily schedule visible is a good way to make sure you're staying on task.